Praise the Lord. I trust you are doing well in the Lord today. Now, today, I want to talk about praying in tongues as a form of therapy. Actually, it is the best form of therapy ever because it is therapy directly from God himself. And you see, this is how things work. You see, as human beings, the lives that we live they are lives that are guaranteed to have problems because even the Bible is very clear about it. In the book of Job chapter 14 verse 1, the Bible states it clearly that man born of woman is of few days and full of trouble. And you see, it is very clear that provided you are a human being living on earth, you are going to experience some trouble in your life. And you see, this may not necessarily be a result of your bad decisions or anything. Sometimes circumstances just find you in, like, in a place where it just causes you trouble. Take an example of something like where you are born. You see, we don't get to choose where we are born, but any place that we are born, there are problems in that place. And every place on this planet of Earth, there are problems there. And you see, those kind of things, they are things beyond our control. And you see, God understands that that is how life is. That is like the nature of how things go. And that is why he decided that there should be some form of what? Some form of therapy so that he can help restore us back to a good state, even though we may have been born in families that were maybe broken or families that had issues or maybe we were born in countries that have issues or we were raised in schools that didn't hold godly principles and those many other things so you see what happens is that at the end of it all your life needs some form of therapy at some point you will need some form of recovery because there are things you need to recover from remember king david wrote and said that he was conceived in sin, even in his mother's womb. He like the conception alone, he was already conceived in sin. Of course, there is that original sin that we are all born with. And you see, such kind of a sin is definitely going to make us inclined to do things that are not godly. What the Bible calls things of the flesh. Because the desire of this like flesh is definitely things that are against God, things that are against the spirit. And so you see, we also need to be restored from that sort of thinking. We need to be restored from that flawed way of perceiving things. And now this is the thing. The best form of therapy is praying in tongues. Reason being, when you are praying in tongues, what you are basically doing is that you are giving the Holy Spirit room to fix things in your life. And the amazing thing is that you really don't have to know what is broken about you for it to be fixed. But with normal therapy, what happens is that when you go there, the person who is leading you through that therapy, they don't know your problems. So they'll begin asking you questions to know what is broken before they can fix it. But with the Holy Spirit, he already knows what is broken. He already knows how to fix it. All you have to do is just go to him and allow him to do whatever he wants to do. And you see, when you now begin praying in tongues, basically the Holy Spirit himself will be sort of ordering new parts from heaven for you so that if you didn't have enough love in your life growing up, he will pray to God on your behalf and say, give this person more love. If you, if you, are, if you are despised when you are growing up, of course, he will be praying to God that, he may give you self-confidence. If you had like issues with your health growing up, of course, you will be praying that God may restore your health and make you perfect. So you see all those many things that, that are not perfect in you, the Holy Spirit will automatically intercede for you to actually get them when you pray in tongues. And like the normal therapy where you have to know your problem for it to be fixed. And you see, I'm not just saying this for the sake of saying it or just because I like I do pray in tongues and I want to like praise praying in tongues for no good reason. I have gone through an experience that proved to me that actually praying in tongues is 
a best experience. So there was a time I was in campus, I was in university. And what happened was that I began feeling empty within. And I didn't know really what was wrong because everything else around me and from the outside, everything seemed to be going well. Because in terms of grades, the grades were not that bad. I had good, fairly good grades. At the same time, I had fairly good finances because my school fees was being paid and everything was fine. And I had friends. I was actually a leader in a Christian club. And so from the outside, I was doing well. But inwardly, I was feeling empty. And for a while, I tried to hide it because I didn't know what it was. And even, like, even if I was to share with anyone, what would I say I am feeling? Because it is something so strange you can't really, like, you can't really explain. Because everything seems to be going well, but everything is not going well. So what I did, I said, maybe I'll go and talk to the university therapist. So I went to talk to her and she was actually a pastor. So when I got there, of course, the first challenge I had was explaining what my problem was. Because no matter how like, I would explain it, it will just seem like I am doing well. And you see, even from the outside, I, like, I just looked like somebody who is doing well. So the therapist began looking at me suspiciously because she thought I was actually joking or playing around with her. But seriously, I had a problem, but somehow she could not see it and I could not explain it well. So what was happening was she was trying to like, get a diagnosis of common problems that people come to her with. But you see, I knew those things that she was talking about and I knew those were not my problems because it was nothing tangible. It was nothing that, it had nothing to do with my mental health or anything. It was just something within me that was feeling empty. Like that is all I could say. So eventually when I realized that she cannot, like she is not really understanding the issue that I'm having, I just decided to, like accept one of the of the diagnosis that she made and I just walked out of her of that therapy room and you see when I walked out I was supposed to go back for another appointment but I said that is the last time I'm actually going back there because it seems like she can't really understand me and so when I left that session I was asking myself what will I do now because I have an issue, I have a problem, and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what to do about it. And this is getting serious every other day. So that is when I said, well, I'm going to pray to God. And I'm going to do the only thing that I know how to do best, which is to pray in tongues. So that is what happened. So I went back to my house and began praying in tongues. So I'll be, like, while praying in tongues, that is when the Lord actually began revealing to me what was happening to me. And the thing that was happening to me was that God had created a void within me and the void was there because what? God had called me to actually do ministry. And you see, it was some sort of pull for me to get into ministry, but I didn't know that that was what I was experiencing. So that's why I was restless and I could not tell why I was restless. So when I began praying in tongues, that's when the Lord actually revealed to me that I need to go out and teach people about praying in tongues. And that is when I understood why I was feeling empty and why I was feeling restless. So that is why when I actually began doing these videos about praying in tongues and writing articles on my blog about uh, praying in tongues. And immediately I began doing that immediately, like that emptiness and that feeling of uh, like a void within me completely disappeared. So I learned that day that actually praying in tongues did for me what therapy could not do. And you see, that was not an ordinary therapist. She was actually a pastor, like the best therapist you could get, the therapist of the entire university, but still she could not understand my issue. But when I prayed in tongues, the Lord sorted my issue. So from that time, I just said, well, I think praying in tongues is the greatest therapy ever. And so from that point, I just said, well, anytime I feel I have issues in my life, I'll just be praying in tongues. 
And that's what I have been doing. Many times I have issues in my life that I can't even explain to people that even my very close friends cannot understand. So many times when I tell them some of my issues, they just begin laughing because to them, I just look normal and it looks like those things I'm explaining to them, they are not problems at all. So it becomes very difficult for me to share. It becomes very difficult for me to actually explain my issues. It becomes very difficult for me to actually get a solution. But anytime I pray in tongues, I always get an answer from the Lord and he tells me what to do. And when I do that thing, always I get what? The peace that I was looking for. So that is actually what made me conclude that praying in tongues is the best therapy. So if you are there and you have issues in your life, and sometimes these issues can be so many to the point that you can't even pinpoint what is wrong. You just know things are wrong, but you can't really know what things exactly are wrong. So this is what I'll tell you. Just go to God and pray in tongues. Just pray to the Holy Spirit and just say, Holy Spirit, take over, express my issues to God and just give me a solution to all these things. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to begin. I have no idea what is wrong with me and there is nothing within me that is working. Fix it for me and be assured when you pray in tongues, we'll actually do it for you. Because for me, what happened was that at that time when I decided to pray in tongues, actually I had to like take a break from school to just focus on praying in tongues. So I'll just sit in my house, pray in tongues, eat, sleep, repeat. So that is all I was doing. And you see, within that time, the Lord revealed to me what was happening, what I needed to do. And when I did that, I got my peace. So it takes a little bit of faith also, because as human beings, of course, we are used to very tangible things, more like what the Israelites said. They said they want to have a king so that they can be like other nations. They wanted a physical king, even though God was their king. And having God as your king is greater than having a human being as your king. So even God told Samuel to get and warn them that a king will enslave their young men and then he will take their daughters to be his uh, maid servants and then he will recruit them to the like army and those many other negative things that would come with having a man as their king but they still insisted on having a man as their king. So for us also, when it comes to things like therapy, of course, many people are used to going to a therapist or speaking to a person or speaking to someone and expecting that person to actually understand you before your issue is solved. But you see, with praying in tongues, you are basically just expressing your issues directly to God. And it may feel a little like you are making a foolish decision, but anyway, that is what faith looks like to the people who don't have faith. When you pray to God, he will give you the direction that you need and then you can always implement it and then your life will be perfect. So that is what I had to share with you today. I hope I have encouraged you, at least if you have issues that people don't understand and you have like things going on in your life that you don't know where to begin to fix them, you can just sideline everything, pray in tongues and the Lord will sort it for you. I guarantee you, he did it for me, I know he will do it for you because he is our loving father, he is our good God. So that is what I had to share with you today. God bless you.